We are shown the main character, Sean, son of the billionaire Peyton family. Because of the money, a lot of girls are chasing the guy. And this time, at a charity event organized by Sean, three girls showed up, wanting to get the guy. One of them turns out to be Candace, the daughter of her father's rival. The father tells Sean about this when he runs away from the groupies and comes to the golf club owned by his father. According to the father, Sean and Candace's alliance can be beneficial to their corporation when Sean takes his place in the company. However, because of this they have a dispute, because the guy does not want to follow in his father's footsteps. As a result, his father gives him an ultimatum, if Sean does not find a job within a week, he will join his father's company, and if he refuses, his father will cut his son out of the inheritance. At the same time, in the parking lot in front of the club, Allison, an activist girl, and her friends decide to post flyers in the cars of the guests, calling for the preservation of the park, which was given to the Paytons for the construction of a shopping center. When the security guards notice the activists, they rush after the young people. Allison manages to hide from them behind a car, to which Sean approaches after a conversation with his father. Seeing the guy, the girl takes him for the driver, but at that moment they are noticed by the guards, because of which the girl rushes to escape, and Sean stops the guards and says that he will deal with the girl himself. After waiting for the man, Allison says that he might get fired because he's coming in empty-handed. However, after the girl's words about the Peyton family destroying the parks, the man says he's quitting the job. It also turns out that the girl doesn't know that Sean is the billionaire Peyton's son. Getting into a diner on wheels, which belongs to Allison's boss, the girl takes the man to the park, on the site of which his father wants to build a shopping mall. We learn that Allison cannot cook and working as an assistant and driver. However, Sean offers to treat the girl to hot sandwiches for opening his eyes to the Peyton family. Allison is concerned that the man might get fired for helping the girl, so he offers to take a job as a cook at a diner on wheels. While they talk, Sean prepares his cheese toast, after tasting it, Allison recognizes its amazing taste. The girl asks the man to make more of the same sandwiches to give to those in need. After that, Allison gives the man a ride home. However, Sean does not want Allison to see where he lives, because then the girl will realize that he is the son of a millionaire. Sean asks to be excused halfway, and says that he lives nearby and will walk home. Back home, Allison meets her friend Beth. The friend admits that their new activist, named Pascal, is very handsome, but the girl already has a suitor. To this, Allison suggests dating both men to eventually choose one, but a worthy one. Already in the evening, after taking a cab home, Sean meets his friend inside, who is rummaging through the fridge. His name is Jareth, and he was just hungry after a charity event. Jareth wonders where Sean has disappeared to. The man talks about meeting Allison, who is trying to wrest the park from the hands of the villainous Peyton. The friend thinks it will be very difficult for Sean to date a girl when he starts working for his father's company himself. However, the guy has a whole week to find a job. The man recalls that Allison offered him a job at the diner. In the morning, the girl heads to the park, late for work, but finds Sean working in the van. Allison puts on an apron and learns that the man has made such delicious muffins that the owner of the van decided to hire Sean right away. The diner has an unprecedented rush that day, but Sean handles the workload admirably. At the end of the day, Allison wants to make the rounds to collect signatures for a petition to preserve the park, which Sean immediately offers to help her with. At the same time, on the other side of town, one of her boyfriends shows up at Beth's work and asks the girl out. The girl is having a poetry night tonight, where everyone invited will be reading their work, and so if Caden wants, he can come over tonight and listen to the poems. As soon as the guy leaves, Pascal appears in the doorway. Beth tells this guy about the poetry night as well, and the guy just happens to have a couple poems that he wrote himself, and so he would love to come to the meeting. And Sean and Allison are collecting signatures in support of the petition. However, Sean is spotted by Candace and wonders what he's doing here. Allison notices all of this. Back home after collecting signatures, Sean tells his father that he managed to get a job as a chef, but his son deceives his father about the place of work, calling the diner on wheels, a French restaurant. In the meantime, Allison goes to the bookstore where Beth works. A friend tells her that both of her bows are coming to the poetry night. 
However, Caden has forgotten about the poetry night, but seeing what time it is rushes to the meeting. But we see that Pascal has already come to the event. At this time, Sean tells Jareth that he and his girlfriend have been collecting signatures against the park development, actually against his father. Jareth hopes that the girl is worth Sean going against his parents. A friend asks when Sean will reveal that he is Peyton's son. Sean doesn't think now is the time for that and admits that he likes the girl more and more. At the poetry evening, which has come to a close, Allison leaves to prepare for her exams. At this time, Beth is approached by Pascal, whose poems the girl finds very unusual. Suddenly at this moment, Caden runs into the bookstore with a bouquet of flowers, and looking at the couple, Pascal says that he managed to collect about 500 signatures, and then the guy leaves. And Beth goes off to eat goodies with Caden. The next day, Sean's father shows up at the diner in the park. To make sure Allison doesn't realize anything, Sean talks to his father as if he were a stranger, suggesting that he either order or make room for other customers. After a while, entering the van, the hostess notices the separately prepared food, and after Sean says it's for the needy, she throws a scandal. The money for this food Sean offers to deduct from his paycheck. Considering that the man acted nobly, Allison offers Sean to have dinner together, although the girl refused him before. In the evening, Jareth arrives at the Peyton house in an old car that he rented at Sean's request. After dinner with Allison, Sean wants to confess to the girl that he is Peyton's son. His father shows up on the porch of the mansion and asks what the guys are going to do tonight. Jareth accidentally blabs that Sean has a date, after which the father gives his son money for champagne. After welcoming a girl, Sean takes Allison to a restaurant where he wants to confess that he is Peyton's son. However, Allison beats him to it by confessing that she refused to have dinner with Sean because her ex-boyfriend broke her heart. But because of Sean's honorable act with food for the needy, she saw him as a sincere man. Upon hearing this, Sean doesn't have the strength to admit that he is Peyton. Meanwhile, Beth chats with Caden about water skiing during the day and goes on a date with Pascal in the evening. The guy says he doesn't care about the park or the petitions because he came to the activists to make new friends. Allison and Sean are having fun playing miniature golf. After winning a game, Allison hugs Sean and they are ready to kiss, but the moment is interrupted by a message from Beth. The message says that Pascal hasn't collected any signatures, which means they urgently need to collect about 500. Allison returns home, where she confesses to Beth that her date with Sean was great. In the morning, Caden comes to Beth with the happy news that the boy has managed to collect almost 700 signatures with the help of his friends. Beth tells Allison about it, and Allison tells Sean. At this happy news, Sean takes out the cake he has prepared for Allison. At the end of the working day, a guy pays attention to a sad girl who has exams coming up, and she can't memorize what she's read. Having a unique memorization technique, Sean helps the girl to learn everything. Allison thinks that Sean has saved her life again, and then comes the moment for a kiss, which is interrupted by Sean himself. The man dares to confess that he is Peyton's son, but his confession is interrupted by a message from his father, and Sean puts this step off for later. Upon arriving home, the man discovers Candace, who has been invited to dinner by her father. While discussing business, Sean asks his father about the petitions against building a shopping center in the park. His father tells him that the petitions aren't a danger to the business because he's on close terms with the mayor, and the mayor can veto them at the snap of a finger. Psyching himself out, Sean goes outside, where Candace catches up with him. The girl admits that just like Sean she doesn't want them to get married, but she can help him save the park by making a deal. To do this, Sean invites the girl to meet him at the club. When Allison arrives at work in the morning, she discovers that Sean is not there. According to the landlady, the man is sick. Beth comes to the park and tells her that Peyton has somehow managed to get the petition to protect the park removed from the council hearing. The girls decide to meet Peyton himself, who they think should be at the club right now. Arriving at the club, Allison meets Sean and Candace, and the girl tells her that Sean is a member of the club and not the driver Allison thought he was. Sean has no choice but to confess that he is Peyton's son. When Allison hears this, she runs out and Sean follows her, but never catches up with the girl. A couple of days later, the father wants to know why the son resented him. 
The son, among other things, talks about the park that father wants to tear down. The father says his company is in business, not building parks. Sean then offers to show him something and if the father agrees, the son will go to work for his company. When Sean arrives at the park, he shows his father the plaque erected there, which Allison had shown him before. The text on the plaque says that the park was built by Peyton's father, that is, Sean's grandfather, which his father didn't even know about. Sitting down on a bench, the man begins to talk about his childhood, when he liked to walk with his father in a park like this one. Then his father went into business, and they were able to go out less and less often. The tradition of rarely spending time together was inherited by our father and Sean, for which our father apologizes. The father admits that he wanted to get Sean into the company just to be near his son. Hearing this, the boy agrees to work for his father's corporation, but asks his father to keep the park intact. Looking at his son, Peyton realizes that he is doing it for Allison and agrees to leave the park untouched. Jareth approaches the food truck. According to the guy, Sean has avoided his father's offer to work for his corporation for years, but today he became an employee just to keep the park intact, all for Allison. Hearing this, the girl wants to talk Sean out of working for father. Allison goes to find Sean, as Jareth says they are now in the park. Upon meeting Sean, Allison learns that the park will indeed remain intact and the shopping center will be built on a piece of land owned by Candace. All Sean did was make the deal and get his commission, which was his whole job at the company. With the proceeds, Sean's thinking of buying a diner on wheels. Peyton and Katie's leave the couple alone. The man thanks the girl for giving him the opportunity to learn so much, and now he's even fired up about saving the parks. They finally kiss. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.